The week of love is beginning right now and this is the third Sunday of Advent where your question for self-development and tremendous benefit is Are you full of faith? Are you faithful? Do you have faith? notice how that is a yes or no question and there is a very very specific reason for why I'm asking you such a question today because this is a question you will ask yourself in very specific scenarios of your life and I will share with you exactly where and how and what to look for uh, as you enjoy this video. Yep, those are flowers in the background, some roses and tulips. I don't watch much television anymore. I'd rather watch flowers, basically. So uh, enjoy the same view. Uh, I'm here for you today. This is, as I said, the third Sunday of Advent, which is a time of love, according to some uh, perspectives on the, the original Christian tradition of having an Advent calendar. So we're going to light a candle up right there in a few minutes and you will be prepared for that type of activity because it's going to be very specific it's going to be loaded with a certain frequency a certain energy that you will have illuminated by following through on these minutes in ahead of it cool so let's start with a nice breath in just to ground ourselves so take a nice depth, deep breath in wherever you are and breathe out. Good. And uh, take a few more deep breaths if you'd like, so you are prepared to adapt new knowledge, listen, learn, and understand what may serve you from this moment forth in your life. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? I, I've been looking so much forward to this week. Uh, this is, as I said, the week of love. And this is the, the greatest topic of all. I feel like everything in my life has prepared me for this moment. Well, maybe not that dramatic, but you get the point. So faith, let's start by w w what is faith? I asked you if you have faith. Hopefully you could say, yes, I do. When I choose to, I do. Or if I said, when I said, are you full of faith? Some of you will have said, well, not really, but you know, when it's needed, it's there. Or yeah, I'm full of faith. Faith is the, like a second nature to me. It's a easy SF. You know, whatever the answer you came up with, you probably have your own definition of what faith refers to. Some people have already dropped off this video because they have like an anti-religious vibe to them and they think that this is a religious video, which it obviously isn't. You followed me maybe for the last 13 days and you know that this has nothing to do with religion. Well, it has something to do with religion, but it's not a religious type of video series. Um, so faith, in the sense I'm using it here, is not purely religious, you know? Faith is defined in so many ways and one of my mentors has one of the greatest definitions I've ever heard and it's that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, things not yet seen actually. This is a mentor that comes up so many times during these videos in my mind for some reason. He has taught me a lot. His name is Kevin Trudeau. And he's probably quoting some other master of life by saying that quote. But let's break this down. Like faith is the evidence of things not yet seen. You get that one, don't you? That it's, a, it's, a, it's an indicator that what you are not yet seeing in the physical reality around you is felt through faith. You can know it's there even though it hasn't revealed itself in the physical reality yet. That's kind of like the religious spiritual aspect of it, I think, for some people, but it's totally real. It's, a, it's, a, it's an indicator. I can tell you by first-hand experience, when you have faith and you know something is coming, you have that faith because you know, you just know. You don't need to know how you know, but you know. That is faith. And it's also uh, the substance of things hoped for. 
So when you have a dream, when you have a desire, when you have a goal, when you have something in the future, whether that be one second from now or one year from now, that thing that you're pointing to, that energetic image of what you are choosing to move towards has substance. And you may call that substance faith. According to that definition, faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it is the evidence. It is the evidence of things not yet seen. So that's the definition we're going to operate with here. Um, I'm going to expand a little bit more on this, add my own perspective to it, because it's so important to be aware of what you think. What is faith to you, you know? This is something you may want to take a moment and just think. Take a moment and daydream and feel about this before you continue the video. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy daydreaming? While you were daydreaming, I went to check out the official definition of faith, and it's amazing. It's actually the complete trust and or confidence in someone or something. Beautiful definition. It really describes the essence of it. So the faith I'm asking you about when I say, do you have faith in yourself? Means, do you have complete trust and confidence in yourself. Now here is why this is so relevant. Whenever you are moving around in life, whenever you are encountering the situations, circumstances and events that may or may not be present within your mind or even physical world, you may get distracted from your own faith in yourself. And I can tell you this with my heart, my hand on my heart, that, you know, it really helps to just remember to have faith in oneself. Because sometimes it's hard to have faith in other people, you know? I, I, I have a certain individual in my life that I would love to speak more with. Um, you know, this is a, an individual that matters a lot to me for no logical, necessarily not logical reason. But this person matters a lot to me. And uh, I can't trust or have faith in this person's willingness to communicate back to me. I don't know if that's going to happen. I have no control over that individual. But I do have complete confidence and complete trust in myself. And that is why I ask, do you have faith in yourself, dear, beautiful soul? Do you remember to have faith in yourself? Do you know that you are the one that says, if it is to be, it is up to me. If it is to be, it's up to you. When you have that attitude, life becomes more like a dance. There's a great expression that says, if you do what is easy in life, life will become freaking hard. And if you do what is hard in life, life becomes easy. And, you know, this is not really hard. When you begin to do the things that the society says is hard, like actually being honest with another individual or um, to, to say the things that are there to your heart, but maybe, you know, you feel weak if you share them or maybe you feel exposed if you share who you truly are. You know, those things are considered hard in our society. It's considered hard to be open and honest about who we are and what we stand for and what we feel. It is considered hard to be honest with another person. To be that considerate and give them the full insight so they can make a decision about your relationship. You know, whether that's a work relationship, a romantic relationship, a familiar relationship or a friendship relationship. To be honest is considered hard, but it's really what makes life incredibly easy. Because now you're not carrying the burden anymore of, of thinking, oh, I should say this, but maybe I shouldn't, you know. So if you do in life the things that are hard, life becomes easy. So with just by doing that, just by intending to do more of those things that people say are hard and elevating yourself in your own life to, your, to the level that you are meant to operate from, from truth, integrity, ethics, moral, you know. If you do make that choice, it's so easy to say yes when you ask yourself, do you have faith in yourself? 
So, but without even having that choice, what do you have faith in yourself about? Do you have faith in waking up in the morning at the right time? Or do you have faith in the alarm clock outside of you? Wow, that's a big one. Well, let's see this. Do you have faith that you will eat when you're hungry? I hope you do, but there's so many people who don't. I know a lot of uh, mostly girl, girlfriends who don't listen to their body when they're hungry and they become very crummy and uh, not that pleasant to be around for the people around them who they love when they don't eat. It's so important. Do you have faith in your ability to at least know when you're hungry? Do you have faith in your ability to speak up when you need to speak up? Do you have faith in your ability to listen when it's time to listen and hear and understand, possibly emphasize empathetically? So do you have faith in yourself? Don't have blind faith. Listen to yourself at the end of the day. Have first and foremost faith in yourself. But hey, I'm presenting myself as someone who you may choose to practice some faith with. If you haven't had people in your life that you haven't been able to trust for a long time. You know, find some individual, at least something even, that you can begin to trust. Because trust is so important. Yeah, we are fragile, emotional beings and trust can be broken and it won't feel good, you know? You may have faith in certain people or think you had faith in certain people, but it was a wobbly type of faith, which isn't faith, this is, it's, it's doubt masked with faith, you know? You may have been experiencing a lot of different difficult situations in your life. So... This is the time to at least begin with the one single point of consciousness that you can have full control over if you claim it, if you choose it, and that is you. It is yourself. Do you have faith in yourself now? Can you trust yourself a little bit more? What do you have faith with when it comes to you? I have faith in the basic processes of life. I have faith in my body to tell me when I need something. I have faith in my social antennas to listen acutely to people around me and be aware of what they want. But first and foremost, I have faith in myself. I have faith in my own needs and what is the best for me. I try to practice that and I will always get better. I'm never perfect. I'm still perfecting. Perfection is something that is, in my point of view, perfect. You know, you are perfection moving to higher and higher levels of perfection. That is a quote by a dear friend of mine called Stephen Lamer. He's an amazing uh, doctor, actually, who has a strong spiritual foundation. And he always says, well, this is the first quote that came in now, actually. He says something amazing. He says that, know the masculine, but keep to the feminine. Know the masculine force of creation, but keep mostly to the feminine, the space of allowing, of loving, of being, of, ex you know, consciousness in a way, <laughs> the softness. Keep more to the softness than the sharp edges, which parallels greatly to uh, have faith in yourself, first and foremost. And I know I'm driving this point home. We're talking about one specific topic here. We're focusing like scorpions, <sighs> focusing on getting this down. No point in learning anything if you can't actually remember it. Knowledge is power, but only if it's used. Quote Kevin Trudeau. But it is. Knowledge is power. It is, yeah, but only if it's used. And remembered. It has to be remembered and used. And it, when you start using this, if you start to make a habit, it will become an automatic program. Just like when you tied your shoes for a, a few days in a row, maybe a week, maybe two, suddenly there was a moment where you didn't even think about it. It just happens automatically. That is what's going to happen to you if you ask yourself this one single question. Do you have faith in yourself? 
ask, this is you asking yourself, this is how it looks, okay? Some situation happens in your life where you feel any type of negative emotion. It can be doubt, worry, instability, um, uh, some kind of neediness, uh, feeling like a victim, whatever the emotion is. It's an emotion that you feel like you want to move further uh, you want to build upon that and move to the next emotion, right? Whenever you have any, any scenario that you point to and say, this is the scenario that is affecting my feelings, it's not. You point to the feeling and say, I'm feeling like this. This is not the most pleasant feeling in the world, but at least I'm feeling like this. So you start by acknowledging where you are, like a GPS, you know where you are. I feel like crummy, you know, I feel less than good. Now, let me ask the question that Theo gave me on day 13 of the adventure of appreciation calendar do i have faith in myself this is the listening part where you actually feel you emotionally listen not just mind i gotta listen let's use the ears sound 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 no this is an actual exercise of the heart this is a heart listening exercise where you listen to yourself there is neural um, networks in your heart there is neurons in your heart it's a documented fact your heart is a thinking mechanism that has thought intelligence that is communicating with and to and through and from the brain so use your heart intelligence and listen to yourself and your feelings do i have faith in myself i may not have faith in anything else else in this moment in time but can i you know, if you can't say, I have faith in myself, you can say, well, can I have faith in myself? Of course you can. You, you remember moments where you had faith in yourself. There will be moments where you have faith in yourself. This may be the moment where you have faith in yourself. Can I have faith in myself right now? No. Well, if it's a no, well, what part of me, what, what can I feel faithful about? What do I have faith about within me? Well, I have faith that I will go to bed at night and then I will sleep and I will wake up. And I'll make sure that I'll make the next day a good day. If you want to wait that long and you don't feel that you have the power to feel any better right now, maybe that's the easiest step for you. And it's not a judgment I'm doing here. It might be the best choice for you. But do I have faith? Mm, yeah. Okay. What? Where is my faith first and foremost placed? Oh, oh, you know. My faith is in myself because I know the choices I make have both destructive and constructive power in this universe. Oh, wonderful. Oh, you just remembered your creative power. Is that what you're saying to yourself? Yes, it is. Oh, you just remembered that you can carry this field of loving knowingness of your innate power of creation and destruction that you actually can create. Yeah, that's helpful. I hope some of you could deduce some value from that. Some of you know this. You're like, oh my God, I remember that. I see me in that. Yeah, I see me in everyone. Everyone, every single freaking one. Sometimes I don't like it. It takes some days before I maybe adapt to liking someone. But uh, yeah, this week we're gonna talk about love. You get me? You get that? We're gonna talk about love this week. Love in all these beautiful forms. Love and everything on the way to love, which we have covered in so many ways through the week of hope, the week of peace. Now it's the week of love. Oh, aren't you excited? So, now let's end this transmission and ask yourself, do you want to make a habit out of feeling good do you want to feel better consistently long term and ever increasingly i can't imagine anyone saying no regardless of what you're focused on this is the time for you if you are willing to move one step closer to making this a habit making it a habit to feel better Making it a habit, habit to consult yourself and ask, do I have faith in myself? That's a reminder. The alarm is the negative emotion. The alarm is not the person pointing at you, yelling at you. It might be an alarm, but it points to you. The alarm is not, you know, uh, it's not outside of you. The alarm is your emotion. 
Every single emotion has an alarm function. It's, it has a certain message that it's communicating to you. You will be very wise to listen to that communication and acknowledge it for what it is without trying to distort, mask or change it. Meet it as it is and dare to be there for one moment. Have faith in yourself and you will be able to stay in any emotion you want for any amount of time. But what you'll notice is that the emotion changes when you meet it where it is. Just be honest with yourself. And remember, you can have faith in yourself. You've gotten this far. You lived all these years and gone through so much emotional days, so many feelings. And yet here you are resonating with this video, which I mean, it's a compliment to you. And I'm not saying this to brag for myself. I'm saying this from the other perspective as well. But if you are watching and you're actually here in this moment hearing this, that's a compliment to you. This is a specific energetic frequency that doesn't reach everyone at this point. People may not, the majority may not be ready for this before three or four years has gone by, hopefully three or four days, but that's not really realistic. We can hope, but this is for you right now. You're here for a reason. Now use it. If you are willing to have faith in yourself and if you are willing to remember to ask yourself something of that sort, it doesn't have to be the exact same question, but if you're willing to ask in that direction, asking inwards, you know, the direction inwards and saying, hey there, beautiful soul that I am, do I have faith in you? Mm. If you're willing to do that, then Let's light this candle and have that candle symbolize a program outside of you that you now choose to put there that will activate a flame that is on. This is an energetic exercise. It may not make sense for all of you. So go into your playful childfulness. Go into your playfulness, your playful childlike nature. Let's play. Let's imagine that you could as easily as a, 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 a lighting of a flame, put an energy that operates out of its own intelligence in your field of experience. This is a very easy way to create a new habit when you're ready to create that new habit. I've tried it in things that I haven't been ready for where I had emotional resistance, that is what it means when you're not ready. If you have a lot of emotional resistance to this, don't think you, you will do this now. They, put it down. It's okay. It's okay. When you feel resonance with this, this, when the inspired inspiration, when the inspired action moves you to do this, you'll do it. So be honest with yourself. Some of you are ready right now. You're so ready. You can't wait for that uh, candle of love to be lit. Because you know that you can now place your energy in that specific light. And you know that my space here in this physical reality is created in such a way that this flame that we are going to illuminate has a representative power. It is intelligent. Flames are intelligent points of consciousness. That's maybe a theory for some. Well, my name is Theo, so it's my theory. It's mine. It's real. So, if you're participating within the next minute now, you are going to activate a program in your reality. And that program is going to be the program that reminds you to look inwards and ask the right question for you. Basically, it's the program of reminding yourself to move in the direction of what you love to feel, what you like to be. It's, it's a representation of more than what I can even put words to. All right, let's do this, okay? Let's light the candle of love. Let me just make sure I have my lighter. I actually do right in my pocket. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful lighter? And here you go. You see those candles, one of them actually has been completely <laughs> burned out. I'm gonna replace that in a short while but for now let's first set up the grid. This is the candle that we started with, the candle of hope. So let's have hope that we can activate this program. Can we? Yeah we can. Now let's add some willingness, right? 
some willingness. Let's add that peaceful, serene state. And do you see the beauty of how this candle looks? Look, look just how beautiful it is. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing? These are homemade bee wax candles. Now this is a representation of peace, which is that sinful state of being where you are willing to exist exactly where you are. You are now willing to activate the third candle, which is the candle over here. <laughs> the fifth candle, by the way, is the Christ light, according to traditions, which we will activate on Christmas Eve or something Christmas Day. Now, when I light this flame, it's not nothing special. I'm just going to put it on fire, right? But it represents something special. So tell yourself, what does it represent? What, what does it represent, my dear? Huh? What does it represent? What does this candle represent for you? Pause. Say it. Tell me. It's for you. I can't tell you what it represents for you. I can only bless it and let the flame infuse into space, beyond space and time, into higher dimensions, so it can come into contact and already is in contact with your aura, with your field. By you putting an intention right now into this lighting of a candle, you are in practicality quantum entangled with this particular exercise. So, I'm gonna light it now and I'm gonna state my own intention. This is the candle of love. This represents the infinite abundance of eternal universal love that I have for people's intentions for themselves. This I intend to be a symbol of an automatic program that they now have self-chosen a program that will remind them in ways that will help them throughout the life journey. This will be an automatic program being forever burning beyond just this one candle. The heat will transform into higher dimensions. It will infuse into the walls and move further. And the program is on. It's in dimensions we can't even begin to explain. Representing your intent. This is for you. This is for your ease and flow of life. Following my inspiration. Oh, not that one. Oh, not that one. No, nope, not that one. Will there ever be a one? Oh, wait, this is really dry. No. A little bit for hope. A little bit. Oh, that came all around. Peaceful, huh? Stable vibration. This one is lighting perfectly. Now, here's a little bit for your intention. And it just went all around. That's great. Good integrity. I love feeding this one, though. Hey. Oh, it's going around as well. Wonderful. Good. These lights now have the integrity to withhold its own space. It is a self-sufficient program. Enjoy. They are programs that you now have accepted. By moving to this point, I can assure you, you're not here by coincidence. You can choose to annul them if you like. You can move away from that energy and say, I don't like that. That's witchcraft. Who cares? This is for you. I hope you feel the peace. I hope you're beyond hope. Hope is beautiful, but you know, I hope you're in, within the field of peace and love. And when we're done with next week, we'll move straight to joy before we activate something in the middle, a fifth dimensional type of energy. <laughs>